Hey, how's it going? Just a call out to all the songwriters out there, beginner and up. Just wondering, are you guys across what the foundation is for most of the music we hear today? If you're not sure, stick around because that's what this video is about. <laughs> G'day friends, I'm Dan Hopkins and welcome to Songwriting with Dan in the Blues Den. Now the answer to that question is what the foundation stone is for most uh, music that we're aware of or most Western contemporary music for that matter is drum roll, the major scale. Now why the major scale is so very important to really uh, know and understand is because it gives us a reference point to how we build our chords how we build our, our scales and how scales relate to one another and how we find chords that we can use in, in a progression that uh, sit together well, ideally because they're from the same key as a baseline idea. So, uh, without further ado, I want to introduce you to the term interval. Now, what an interval is, is the distance between two notes. Okay, and the two types of intervals I want to introduce today is the whole tone and the half tone. Now a whole tone is is two semitones apart. So if I have my fretboard on the guitar and I put one finger down on one string on one fret and I go up two frets, okay, that's a semitone apart. Okay, that's a whole tone or a whole step apart. Right? So a half tone or a half step apart is half of that. So I'm basically going from one fret to the one directly next to it or before it doesn't matter which direction and on the keyboard I'm going from one key it doesn't matter if it's a black or white key two keys up to give me a whole tone and basically a half tone is just half of that so the difference between one key and the key directly next to it okay so without further ado what we need to now understand is that there is a formula for how we write a major scale and in music we're going to have 12 major scales because there's 12 keys that we're dealing with but um, just for now let's write out this formula for the major scale and it looks like this we have a whole whole half whole 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 half Okay, so let's take the key of G, for instance, alrighty, and let's see what notes belong to the key of G. Alright, so we start off with G, which is our first note, and then if it's a whole step to go to our second note, there's an A, whole step again, there's a B, half step gives us a C, whole, D, whole, E, Another hole gives us F, F sharp, okay, and then a half step will bring us back to G, but just the octave higher, oftentimes referred to as the eighth, given that this is the first, okay? All right, so uh, lis listen to this uh, video again if that doesn't uh, really land because it should, it should do. It's not a very difficult concept to grasp, but it takes a little bit of working out. And you can do this with each of the other 11, uh, 11 keys in our musical scale to, and uh, to determine which notes belong in each of those respective scales. Oops. I hope you enjoyed that introduction to the major scale. Part two is gonna be coming right up. And if you like what's been going on, you wanna learn more, please subscribe and jump below. There's a link there. It'll take you directly to my uh, free mind map that indicates my five-stage songwriting mastery methods. So uh, drop a comment or a question below and uh, look forward to seeing you soon. So uh, peace out.